Hey, Chris, when you hit homers as you did today and you did the other day, does that tell you or does it tell us anything about where you are in terms of your feelings at the plate, where you are offensively, or is that just, you know, a good swing at a good moment and there are other indications of where you are? Yeah, I think just for me, I've just been trying to work on, you know, being on time, being in a good place to hit, and kind of like whatever happens after that happens, you know. Um, just uh, that's been big, you know, I felt like I was a little late <clears throat> throughout like the middle of camp and, uh, you know, that's one, been one thing of just always being on time and, um, you know, I think if I can do that, you know, some good things have, have, have happened these past couple of games where, um, you know, I'm not really trying to look to launch and get in the air, but, you know, you see when it does, um, you know, get in the, get up, get up in the air, um, you know, at, at a good, at a good launch, you see what happens. I saw, um, leave, uh, one of CJ's homers today or his homer today, I think they measured something like 477. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's, that's quite a hit. I'm curious what your impressions are of him. Uh, so far in camp, because statistically, and from what I've seen, he's he really looks like he's on top of his game offensively. No doubt. Um, you know, this is my first chance really like seeing him play consistently. Uh, you know, he's been in the AL his whole career basically, and um, just I haven't really played against him a ton, but you know, just uh, you know, him being in the in the game a long time. And just seeing the way you know he goes about his business, you know we've talked about a couple of things that he does offensively and you know pregame um, analytically to you know some things that I've never even thought about. So it's been good to have another you know veteran presence in the clubhouse to to work on stuff like that. But um, his the way he goes about his business and his uh, you know in game um, you know preparation and the way he goes about his business, um, man, he's he's been locked in these past couple of games and. You know, the ball comes off his bat hard. He's been swinging the bat really well. I appreciate it very much. Yep. Ray C. Rigglesby, go ahead, Trace. Just uh, curious, the, you know, five games left. How tough are these last five games of spring training just mentally to say, hey, we've got to get something done when you know you're pretty well set with the team? Yeah, I mean, I think for us, you know, it's just that constant battle of, uh, you know, showing up every day and just being consistent. You know, that's all anybody wants to do as a baseball player is just show up to the field and, you know, get your work in and then, you know, go out there and play the game and play it the right way and, and uh, you know, let your hard work pay off. So, you know, I don't, I, I think we've made it this far right through camp and you just want to keep it going. Um, you know, I think today, you know, we got down early there and, you know, threw a couple back and just kept fighting, fighting. And, um, you know, when we left the game, we were up. So I think that's going to kind of be our MO this year is just, you know, look, listen, I mean, you know, we know how it is to play at Coors, so, you know, show up every day and, and be ready to play. So I think that, um, you know, stems here these last couple of games of just coming here ready to play. And uh, we'll take that into April. Sure. Anything else for Chris? Go to Danielle Amtuck. Danielle, go ahead. Hi, Chris. Danielle from the Denver Gazette. Um, Garrett had mentioned yesterday that he's noticed Charlie speaking up a lot more this spring training. I'm curious if that's something you've noticed as well. For sure. Um, you know, we, we had a hitters meeting, you know, a couple weeks ago, and uh, we did like three separate meetings. And I think I was in the second meeting, he was in the third. So he made some some great comments in the third meeting that uh you know i think he wanted to share and and mags wanted to share with the whole the whole hitting <clears throat> offensive side so we ended up having a, a another meeting on top of that um where you know charlie basically talked and just talked to through some of you know his thoughts you know before he goes up to the plate and you know while he is at the plate and you know just thoughts that you know, us as baseball players can relate to. So it was really good um, that, uh, you know, we had that meeting and, you know, for sure he has stepped up and, and been more of a leader, been vocal this, this spring training, um, you know, than I remember last spring training. But obviously, you know, gosh, I was only here for a couple of weeks before uh, everything got shut down. So, um, but, you know, the, the difference from last year to this year, for sure. Yeah. Anything else for Chris? Oh, thank you, Chris. Appreciate it, yep. sir. Thank you.